Today's video is about how to create a video using your mobile or specifically your iPhone. I'm an iPhone user so I'm going to walk you through the settings that you need to have on your iPhone to create a high quality video if you want to start out on YouTube in 2021. So without further ado, let's go and let's dive into it. and welcome back to my channel just go with Amreen if this is the first time you guys are tuning in welcome to my channel my name is Amreen and I have been a travel vlogger for a little over a year on YouTube now and I started my journey on YouTube using my iPhone and a selfie stick I have done over 60 plus videos on YouTube and majority of my footage is shot on iPhone X I'm going to walk you through the steps that you need to take to set up your iPhone or your mobile to take high quality videos to create content on YouTube in 2021. Watch this video all the way to the end. Also, there is a free resource for you to download. So I will tell you more about that later in the video. For now, let's get started. Number one, before you go to your camera settings and set the frames per second and all that kind of stuff, it's the most obvious thing you should do. It's kind of dumb, but a lot of people don't do it. Clean your camera lens. Yes, most of us generally have our phones in a camera case or something like that. So there is like a dust that forms around the lens, which we don't commonly realize. We just take a soft cloth and clean your lens, not with a tissue because it is going to leave dust particles on the lens. Number two, a common mistake a lot of people do when they are talking to the camera, uh, to their phones, and they have the selfie mode on like I have it right now. They are not looking at the lens. The lens is a dot. So it's a bit difficult for people to keep looking at the lens because sometimes it's just, you know, it's just easier to look at yourself instead of looking at the lens. So this is me, hi, but I'm not looking at the lens right now. I'm looking at the screen, I'm looking at myself talking, but this is the lens. This is when I'm looking at my audience and I'm talking to you directly. When you're vlogging, just make sure the camera angle is not straight. Like this is straight, this is slightly high, and this is low this is the most unflattering way of filming yourself while vlogging man or a woman we all want to look good on camera so this is the most unflattering way of filming yourself this is not the best either but this is so slightly higher than your eye level hold your camera and that is the most flattering look so start vlogging so now let's dive into the camera settings very quickly Go to your settings, go to your camera settings. So there are two things we're going to choose here. One, we're going to choose 1080p or 4K and the frames per second. What is frames per second? It is the amount of clips that will be shot per second. The amount of frames that will be shot per second. So if you're shooting 24 frames per second, it's going to click 24 frames in one second and 30 is 30 frames per sec, 30 clips per second and you get the idea. So generally, for TV, for web, the most natural look to the eye, what feels most normal is 24 frames per second. But if you want a more smoother look, for most cinematic, smooth, slow-mo feel, you can film at 120 frames per second as well. Another most common question that I get asked is should we shoot in 1080p or 4k someone recently asked me should we use should we use high-tech cameras to shoot in 8k oh my god okay i shoot in 1080p that's full hd if you're a new youtuber most of you don't know what you're doing what your niche is you're starting out as a hobby you don't want to invest a lot of money in equipment because you don't just need a high-tech camera to shoot in 4k or 8k you also need a machine that will support that you will need extra hard drive fast SD card and all that kind of stuff you need to invest a lot if you want to keep up with the 4k quality 4k 
file size is twice of the file size of a 1080p it's easier to handle and manage these files as opposed to 4k now there is nothing wrong with shooting 4k a lot of people shoot 4k if your system can handle that that's fine go ahead but how many people actually view videos on YouTube on their phones as opposed to their 4K TVs. If you're starting out, 1080p is the way to go and it is acceptable by YouTube. It's full HD. What more do you want? Another common question. How do we shoot? Front camera versus back camera. Front camera, selfie mode camera is the worst quality of camera that you can use on your phones. The back camera of a phone is far more higher in quality. So try to always use that to film your videos. So I only use my front camera when I'm talking to you guys, but otherwise for all my other footage, I am always using my back camera only and I'm shooting in 1080p. I have not chosen 4K, I shoot in 1080p, 24 frames per second, but I also use the time-lapse uh, option a lot and I also use the slow-mo. It gives such a beautiful feel to the entire vlog. I mean, it's great. Next point. So now that you've set your camera, you can go and start vlogging. But when you hand hold your phone, you're going to need some time to practice the steady movement. But if you're vlogging in a country, if you're walking around sightseeing, stuff like that, you can't really walk like a duck. Literally, you have to do that. So you need something to stabilize your footage. You need something so that you can hold your phone either on a selfie stick or a gorilla pod or what I invested in was a stabilizer. I bought a gimbal, EJI gimbal Osmo 3, Osmo Mobile 3, that's the one it's called. That's what I purchased. This is another piece of bracket that I actually purchased um, separately. This is like a rig that I purchased because otherwise where would you put your mic? And this is, this is another hot shoe for the light which I've never used but this is another hot shoe and the mic goes on it. Okay, powering through quickly. I am actually fasting. I completely forgot it is coming close to sunset. It's almost time for me to eat and I need to finish this vlog. So let's power through the next piece of equipment that I purchased and that you should probably invest in as well after the stabilizer is a good audio. Audio of your iPhone is pretty good. I used my iPhone audio, uh, built-in audio for a very long time, for quite a few months, like almost four months I used my iPhone built-in audio but eventually I purchased another piece of audio equipment which is the Rode mic. I also bought a lavalier mic which is the Boya M1 and it is only for $20. I use that when I am doing these kind of vlogs but I'm not using that right now but yeah that's what I use. That is what I use for those kind of vlogs and when I am vlogging around, walking around, I use the Rode mic which is way way better and higher in quality and that is the one that I would suggest that you should go for. Let me just take this off quickly and show you how it would sound without this Rode microphone. This is the iPhone built-in audio. Uh, I don't think there is such a huge difference right now because there's not a lot of noise around me. There's no traffic, there are no cars, there is actually practically nobody around me. Plus I am fairly close to the iPhone. If you are planning to use the built-in audio of the iPhone, you need to be like super close uh, because the further you go away, the audio is just going to fall off and it will probably echo as well so you need to be like super close to the iPhone if you want to use the built-in audio now back to the road mic okay last but not the least I am shooting this outdoors for a reason that is because I want to use natural lighting most of my vlogs I shoot during the day and I have I always use natural lighting but if I am shooting something indoors I also try to use the window light as much as possible I, I try to avoid the artificial light but if I have to I have purchased a ring light recently and I do a lot of sit down vlogs that you see that I do for my video uh, for my YouTube tutorials that I create I use the ring light I also recently bought another piece of equipment a very tiny light that goes on my gimbal and it has this dial that you see it switches on and you can you know click the dial and reduce or increase the brightness of the light as much as you want so it's really handy I almost forgot what you're also going to need is this what is this 
it's a tripod now there are many different forms of tripods for your phone you can get in the market but i love this one because it's so compact it has a remote come out which i never use actually i just use the timer on my phone okay it never comes out but anyway this has a remote as well it's a bluetooth remote and there there you go this one becomes pretty big by the way this is how big it goes and you can also do a uh, like an IG story sort of a thing like vertical or you can horizontally film for your uh, videos for YouTube and it's a tripod so this can come out it has three legs and it can actually stand there we go so I love this one I'm gonna link all these things down below so I love this so compact I love it you also know the iPhone battery dies extremely quickly. So you have got to invest in a power bank. I got the best power bank on the planet. <laughs> this is called RAF Power. This is the one, it's fairly heavy by the way. So it's not one of those flimsy ones that you can just slide it in and just walk around. I mean, this is pretty heavy, huh, by the way, but it is amazing long lasting i mean uh the, once i charge this this can last me for 48 hours or, or a little more than that if i'm filming the entire day i have to put my iphone on this at least three times that is how quickly my iphone dies so now coming to the free resource that i talked about in the beginning of this vlog well if you're interested in learning more from me then i have a free resource for you which is linked down below in the description box if you are a new youtuber or you are a YouTube content creator already and you feel stuck in your journey then I have some action steps that you can take right now to grow your channel if you like this vlog give me a big fat thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit that bell icon because next week we go back to creating some travel content I miss travel I'm sure you do too if you found value in this video then please leave me a comment your feedback means a lot to me and do share it with those who think will require this video and this knowledge I will see you guys next week until then stay safe cheers guys bye no it uh, so it, it has a dial on it whoa peacock okay Whoa, okay, that is in a second. I am so distracted by this peacock. I love peacocks. Oh my God, I'm gonna show you that. Hi, kitty. She scared me a few seconds ago. Hey, move. <laughs> okay, so, God, the amount of flies, shit. Fuck, get out. I'm literally doing this before I go live. Like, can you believe that? <laughs> Shit. <laughs>